Well, hello, pretty girls. Happy July 2nd. Just a few hours away from July 3rd, which is when a lot of really great stuff uh, becomes available for sale uh, with Stampin' Up! And so I'm doing this video quite late, uh, much later than normal. The uh, fun thing was um, a while back I did a video for my VIPs and it was like one o'clock in the morning my time and I had more people watching the video then than I probably ever had. Um, and so apparently a lot of my ladies are night owls and um, they they pop on in the late hours. And so we uh, just returned from a memorial service. And so I thought, you know, instead of doing this in the morning, I'm just gonna do it tonight. So I'm gonna cover a lot of stuff in this video. Um, it's gonna be quite long as it always is. And we're gonna talk about the Stampin' Up! specials. We are gonna talk about my kits that you guys can earn uh, free with your order during the month of July. And really there is just like, there is a lot of stuff happening here. So I'm just, um, firing up so I can see any comments that might um, pop in and we're going to go ahead and get started if we can get all the tech to work well. Um, tech in my life is just not my friend so we'll just all we'll all um, hopefully get through it um, in fine form. So let's first talk about the Stampin' Up! specials. Now um, there are um, if you if you if you guys are like me and before the closure of Close to My Heart, you didn't pay too much attention to what everyone else does. That was me, okay? I kind of stayed in my own lane. Um, then you are just as surprised as I am about the number of brand new products that Stampin' Up! releases like in a timely fashion. I mean, they have brand new stuff every single month. They have brand new collections every other month. It's wild. It's just wild. So there are um, several uh, what they call online exclusives. Those are the things that um, kind of come um, available every other month or so. Um, they have several for the month of July that I wanted to give you guys a little peeky peek out. Now, all you have to do is when you hop over onto the shopping websites, you can can um, click online exclusives at that category and that's going to show you all of the online exclusives sort by new and you'll be able to see the newest ones um, that are available now um, I'm just gonna tell you I'm not the Christmas in July kind of girl it's like I'm still thinking about spring flowers and the beach I don't want to talk about Christmas I don't want to see Christmas I don't want to hear about Halloween or anything like that. So I didn't really order um, much of this. I got a few embellishments and I got some ribbon. Other than that, I didn't touch any of this stuff quite yet. Uh, but we're going to talk through uh, the things that they have made available and you guys might enjoy this. So one of the collections that they have available during the month of J July is uh, the Season of Green and Gold is what the um, collection is called. And so it has this beautiful uh, 12 by 12 specialty paper. There's lots of gold um, happening, foil that kind of thing. It's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Then you've got a beautiful um, greenery vellum pack that's 12 by 12 as well. Again, you guys really are going to have to be in the mood for Christmas um, to be adding this to your shopping cart in July, okay? So then, of course, you've got your bundles, you've got your stamps. There are some really great um, year-round usable uh, dies here as well, okay? Um, you've got some beautiful, um, very vanilla satin ribbon. You've got some really cool um, adhesive-backed berries. So these are fun berry clusters. They kind of look like holly berries. You guys will be able to see a much better um, up-close um, version of these over on the website, okay? These are all going to hit at midnight mountain time tonight. So I'm in Central, which means it's one o'clock in the morning for me. So depending on where you guys are, Midnight Mountain Time is when all of this stuff is going to hit, okay? Even the Close to My Heart stuff that we're going to talk about in a moment, okay? So lots of fun elements to that collection. You've got another collection called Iconic Celebrations. Now this is a six by six paper uh, collection and it has um, some fun wintry and Christmas patterns, but it also, um, if you're looking closely, you can see some great stripes, some um, dots and and plaids and birthday candles and just some really fun everyday uh, patterns on here. And so again, I'm really seeing, pardon me for the yawning, it's gonna happen a lot uh, tonight. Um, I'm seeing a lot of Christmassy and autumn patterns, but there's also a lot of everyday in that one as well. Um, one of the embellishments that I did get were these pecan pie and clear ribboned adhesive backed dots. And um, they are beautiful, 
clear dot that has a, co a color to them, the brown and the white, but they have like this really fun zigzag pattern on the back side of it. It is very cool. It's unlike anything that I've seen. So these are going to be really fun to play with. So you've got some fun elements of that collection as well. They have a Halloween uh, collection that will be available and they have something called, this will be one of the first things that I order when I'm ready to kind of move past beachy stuff. This is called the Changing Leaves Bundle. Now, the really cool thing about this is this it is what they call a hybrid embossing folder. Now, I just want to show you guys quickly because I've not done a video on the hybrid embossing folders yet, but I have another one right next to me. So I just want to kind of give you guys a rundown on what they are. So it is an embossing folder thin cut bundle that is also going to give you a bit of a look of inking ability as well. So what you can actually do is you've got your regular embossing folder. So this is a sentiment one. Uh, you probably can't read it super duper well. Um, it's got thank you, oh happy day, thinking of you, love you, hello with sympathy, celebrate just because, get well, and you make me happy. So some really fun sentiments for cards, but also I would use several of these for scrapbook pages as well. But it's a three-dimensional embossing folder, which means you're going to get a really beautiful, um, really great dimensional emboss okay so you're gonna have a really nice raised letters but what is interesting about it it makes it completely different than another embossing folder is it has the thin cut that almost kind of snaps down in place it doesn't really snap but you can definitely tell when it's like made it into the little groove okay so you've got um the the matching thin cuts okay this is going to run through your embossing machine at the very same time so when you pull it out you're going to have a stamped image or not a stamped image a thin cut image and a 3d embossed image at the same time okay so it's going to preserve that dimension but they're adding you can add a third um element to it as well if you wanted to ink up this raised um, portion here, I have actually have some next to me that I'll show you. Um, but I inked mine up. You can use a brayer. I just used my stamp pad. I just turned my stamp pad upside down and I padded uh, the raised edge. Put my cardstock. Um, put my cardstock in here. Put my embossing or my pardon me, my thin cut piece. And again, you guys will see if you get one of these, you'll see it just kind of like you can tell it's in place. Like it's not, you're not gonna cut it in the wrong place if it's in this little groove. It's it's really quite user friendly, honestly. Um, but whenever you run it through your embossing machine, you are going to have an element that is die cut, embossed and inked if you want. Now the inking is um, kind of whether you want to do it or not, it's up to you. You don't have to do it. Um, but um, I had a card here that I just have happened to sit next to me. This is the Celebrate. So I don't know if the webcam will focus enough for you to see the raised portion of that. But this is a little bit of black ink. So you can see you got a really fun outline of that word there. It thin cut it and it embossed it all at the same time. So it was really cool. And the fun thing about that folder is, is I just decided to run, um, let me, let me grab these and I'll just see if I can hold them up to the camera and show you. This is my very first, uh, time doing this. And so, um, I actually feel like it's pretty good for my very first time, but the years are, so these are some other images that I ran through there. Um, I just feel like, um, it is just kind of a really fun concept and I did all of them at the same time. So it was very quick. You got lots of sentiments, um, all at the very same time. And so I, I just think, I don't know. I just think that's very, very fun. So um, if you guys are on Facebook is hiding comments from me again. So if you're if you're actually watching, there's several of you guys watching and you're commenting. Facebook is not showing me comments. So my biggest apologies. I'll go back and address those when we're done, since it's obviously not showing. Right. So this is what um, a hybrid embossing folder looks like. And that is what you guys can expect. Um, this similar type of scenario with the changing leaves bundle. So I thought you guys might like to see that. So again, go on and take a peek at that. That's another one of the online exclusives. Um, that I think that you guys will enjoy. Now, drum roll for those of you guys that are like, oh, I cannot wait uh, for the brand new Close to My Heart drop. You guys, this one is a big one. 
it is a stinking big one. Holy cow. Um, so we're getting what, probably three times uh, the product that we got in the previous launches. They are going to give us July and August in this catalog. And you're also getting what we would have released for National Scrapbooking Month. The great big uh, May celebration that we usually have. That is what you guys are going to find in here. Now, all of this is going to go live at midnight mountain time tonight in just a few hours. So depending on where you are, just a few hours, you have to wait. Um, I don't have a clue what's going to sell out first. I have absolutely no idea if this stuff will be available tomorrow morning when who have those of us that do not wait up all night long um, and go to order it. I have absolutely no idea. I can tell you that when I wake up tomorrow morning and I place my order, providing it is still available, I can tell you what I'm going to order with the intent to do workshops with, okay? So we are going to get the, we've all been waiting for it, right? Or you guys have been waiting for it. I'm not a gnome girl. I've been creating with the gnomes for my customers, but I'm not a gnome girl, right? But some of you guys have been like, I can't wait for the summer gnomes. Well, here you go. So I am going to order the summer gnomes to work on a workshop for you guys. Uh, the color palette is absolutely beautiful. And summer is my favorite season anyway. And so the colors are just fun and happy. Um, as always, I will do my absolute best to make us be able to cover up the gnomes should we choose. I'm not a gnome girl, of course. So um, you can see that you've got gnome on one side and then non-gnome on the other side. Non-gnome. That is like a mouthful, right? Uh, but look at these colors. They're completely beautiful. We finally get to see Journey. Um, it's interesting. We They had the color of the year and we just see very rare of it popping up into paper packs. But this one is has a lot of Journey. This stripe paper is amazing. I cannot wait to get my hands on that one um, but uh, you're gonna have your fun little um, your gnome you've got some sunglasses for your gnome which is very fun and cool he's got it looks like um, he's got a little fruity drink here with an umbrella in it which is very cute you've got some glitter paper die cuts as well um, with a sticker sheet you've got your coordinating card stock and um, providing it doesn't sell out before I get mine ordered, uh, you will have a scrapbooking workshop coming in the near in the near weeks, right? So if you wanted to grab, uh, put together the scrapbooking workshop that Close to My Heart um, had designed, then you can grab all of that stuff in a bundle. And again, this is all, um, this is Close to My Heart uh, designed product. It has our same zip strip, same uh, weight of paper, all of that good stuff. And so it's exactly what you guys are used to seeing in Close to My Heart world. So, um, you will see they've bundled uh, these together, our stamp sets, all of that is bundled exactly like what Close to My Heart would have. And so that is all bundled together should you choose to grab it. So you've got a few standalone stamp sets here. Look at him, isn't he stup stupid cute? He's not even stinking cute, he's stupid cute. I love it. So he doesn't even have, um, on the, the gnome thin cut, he had a little umbrella drink. Well, it looks like here they've taken that off it's always fun to but fun to butcher your things, right? And they put him an ice cream cone in his hand, which I think is just ridiculously cute and very inventive. I love being able uh, to use our, um, I love to be able to use our products in a lot of different ways. So you've got some standalone stamp sets. Um, in the past two releases, the scrapbooking stamp and then cut set has sold out within just minutes. So this one, I don't know if this one will be available in the morning or not. Uh, we'll just have to see, but that one um, is again, very usable. Um, gonna be super fun for your summer pages as well. So Secret Garden is the paper collection that they were going to release for May for National Scrapbooking Month. And um, it includes some new colors. So um, you are going to be able to get your hands on those as well. But it's a beautiful, um, it almost, it kind of looks, feels a tiny bit vintage ish not super duper vintagey it's like not got a lot of distressing and things like that but truly it reminds me of like wallpaper that you would see in a very old home like in a bathroom or something um beautiful 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 colors i absolutely love them it is just a little bit toned down for what i like i like a little more bold and out there and in your face kind of thing completely beautiful yes i will order it we will see about a workshop i do not know but i am planning on adding it to my shopping cart so it looks like you've got different uh patterns in four different pastel colors now the dots look amazing. I always love our dots, so I'll be grabbing those. And I anticipate the thin cuts to be selling out quickly. The thin cuts usually do sell out quickly. Um, I think the ones lasted 
last time I did not stay up at, at nighttime, but I was told they were gone in 12 minutes, the alphabet thin cuts. So we'll just see. Those standalone thin cuts um, usually do go pretty quickly. So this is a beautiful, beautiful set of garden thin cuts. So you've got some really beautiful floral images, some sprigs and greenery here, some leaf images. I think they're really going to be very popular. Um, truly, I think they really will. Flowers are always popular. It's funny because everyone's like, we're done with flowers. We don't want any more flowers, but yet the flowers are what sells, right? So you've got a beautiful sticker sheet. And I think even more than more than the pattern paper, I love the cardstock. So the cardstock has, it looks like it's got dots on one side and then a beautiful um, like check type of pattern on the other side in really beautiful colors. So it's honey butter, pine, artichoke is a new one, glacier, and periwinkle. So this will definitely be something that I will be playing with. I'm very excited about that. So you've got a workshop bundle as well that also has you know your thin cuts and your stamp set your dots all the good stuff so again this is this is stuff you guys are used to seeing with close to my heart okay so card making workshops as well as scrapbooking workshops um let's see we're going to keep flipping through here you've got some standalone stamp and uh thin cuts that i do think will be fairly popular and you guys look here your memory protectors 12 by 12 memory protectors uh six by eight memory protectors six by six eight and a half by eleven 11. These are the close to my heart branded memory protectors. Okay, so your page protectors and your flip flaps. So you've got four by six, three by four, four by four, and three by three, your favorite sizes in the flip flaps. Then we also, pardon me, have some albums. So you've got a six by six, an eight and a half by 11, um, a 12 by 12, let's see. Yeah, 12 by 12 D ring. And you've got some album posts and your spine expanders as well. So, um, I, I, we have been told that this is one of the, the portions of the intellectual property that they purchased from Close to My Heart so that we will be able to see our page protectors, our flip flaps, and um, a, a new album line coming. So I'm very excited about that. To some of you guys, this is going to be very, very good news because you've been really hoping to grab those. Again, you've got a few standalone uh, stamp sets. I love this one. I'm definitely going to have to add this one to my cart because it's just, I love the everyday theme. Um, cameras are super fun. I love love the little film strips. I just, I'm a sucker for an everyday theme because I like to be able to use it for a lot of different things. And I'm not one of those people that get bored with stamps um, that re are repetitive or like layouts that are repetitive or anything like that. I, I don't have a problem that you see them multiple times in your album. So this will be one that we'll continually go back and dive into um, many times over. This is going to be a good one. I love to travel and that is just kind of just one of my happy places when I'm able to get away. And so this is going to be fun and as you can see they all have thin cuts um and so this will be quick and easy to cut out and i think that um i think a lot of us are going to enjoy that one got a cute little one with animals there's a little elephant in a helicopter and a monkey in a car and a fox in a train and an airplane and an alligator ridiculously cute with a thin cut as well You've got a great, um, this is so great for captioning for your pages. You've got some more of those beautiful uh, die cut word strips that we've seen in um, previous Close to My Heart catalogs. You are going to have, again, I love the frogs. I love the frogs, you guys. This one doesn't have a thin cut, but I may have to get it even though it doesn't because I just love the frogs. They make me hoppy. <laughs> um, this is a really cute one. It's got these really sweet little animals. If you love to color, this would be one that you would really enjoy. Um, there's going to be a beautiful floral sprig embossing folder as well as a floral sprig um, stencil kit as well with multiple stencils. And this may be my favorite thing of the entire catalog. It is, um, the, I'm pretty sure, I just drew a blank on it. I'm pretty sure they called it the soda pop paper. Yeah, soda pop paper and sticker sheet. It's all my favorite colors, okay? I'm a sucker for the blues and the turquoises and the greens. I love it. It's it's really going to be fun and easy to create into a kind of a masculine uh, type of a scrapbook layout. So this will be something, if I hadn't already promised, pardon me, if I hadn't already promised my customers that I was going to complete the gnomes series, this would be the one I start with. But this will for sure be one that we play with. I love it. So providing it doesn't sell out before I get it cut up, you will see a workshop with this paper. Um, it's got a really fun, again, it goes back to that everyday life theme. I love that. That's my favorite. So it's got a really great everyday life themed um, sticker sheet here that I am just very excited to use. 
Then the fun thing um, for you guys is that if you just love the new, okay, um, you have the option of getting the four brand new colors that Close to My Heart would have released um, this year when we got our new catalog. Fortunately, they closed the doors before that happened, but um, you can get the cardstock and the stamp pad in in any of these colors here. So if you're like me and like you were very sad that you used up your last sheet of Lagoon cardstock, making mini albums for your customers, um, then you can order more Lagoon cardstock. It's my, just FYI, it's my favorite close to my heart color. So yes, I will order me some more Lagoon cardstock. But um, if you maybe missed some of these colors or you want extras to go with the paper collections that they've released, um, you can grab some of those. Mink happens to be my my very favorite neutral except for black it's my favorite neutral ever and so I will probably grab a few more sheets of mink but you've got four new colors you have one called apple spice um, tea rose artichoke and whimsical which looks like a really beautiful color I have an under armor sweatshirt that exact color I think these are gonna be really pretty colors so um, if you guys want to grab those to go along with uh, that those paper packs that include those new cardstock and ink colors then you have they have made those available for you guys to order so and they're gonna come in the close to my heart stamp pads with the magnetic tops that you guys are used to seeing they will not come in the uh, stampin up ink pads okay so again this is all close to my heart branded things same two-tone card stock that you're used to seeing and that kind of thing so this is going to be the release um, and once these are gone they're gone guys um, and this will be the last bit of close to my heart product ever 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 okay so again midnight mountain time they will be available on my shopping website and I will put uh, the shopping link and the host code in the comments or in the description of this video when we are done recording. So um, the one more special that we are having, I got to grab my sticky note, guys. There's like a ton of them this month. OK, lost my sticky note. How about that? So we've got the Close to My Heart release, the online exclusives, and oh, and I remember, okay, the next one is called Bonus Days. So Bonus Days is a promotion where if you spend $50 in July, you get a $5 coupon to use in August. If you spend $100 in July, they're going to send you two $5 coupons, so you get 10. So you're essentially getting 10% of your order amount in increments of 50. If you spend 150, you're going to get three $5 coupons. OK, so they're automatically going to email you those coupons after your order has been placed. Um, one of the things that I read in the FAQs of this promotion is that anything that you already had in your shopping cart prior to mountain time midnight tonight would not count towards that total. Now, I don't really understand how they do that or why they do that. That's just what the FAQ said. So if you have stuff in your cart right now, by the way, if you didn't know this, <clears throat> One moment. Apologies. I just had to get a little drink of tea or I'm going to start coughing. If you guys did not notice this, in Stampin' Up! World, you actually ha can make a wish list, a favorites list. Okay, so you can put the little heart on there, add the little heart on those um, items, and you can start. You can have multiple lists in your account. So instead of when you're looking through the massive product inventory, um, instead of just automatically placing it in your cart, which in Close to My Heart World, that was our only option, right? You place it in your cart and you check it out later. Well, you you can actually categorize these and put them in uh, lists now to save for later and then you can take those items and, and there's an option to add them to your cart so while during the month if you're shopping for things um, put them in your favorites instead of your shopping cart for such an occasion as this again I've never heard of a policy like this it's very interesting and I have many questions but we just play by the rules right so and make sure that um, you have a clean cart when you start, okay? And for every $50 you spend in July, you're going to get a $5 coupon to use in August, okay? And you can do that right along with um, earning the kits from me, which is what I'm going to show you guys next. So I am, um, we're going to we're have a six, a six card kit this month. We did we did layouts. We did a 12 by 12 layout as well as a couple cards last month. So we're going to kind of do a little bit of alteration. You never know what we're going to come up with. You just never know. So um, I have um, created a kit that I'm calling the two fold kit because it's essentially two folds. I want you guys as you're looking at this. Um, this is not um, 
kind of like those of you that follow my business and you were involved with my stamp of the month program, the kit that I created every month was really centered around artistically about the stamp of the month, right? Like you use those thin cuts and you use those stamp set and that kind of thing. And so um, we are really kind of training our brain to do a 180 where this concept is wildly different than the stamp of the month program. So I am purposefully creating kits for you guys that are as generic as possible so that you can go and use a stamp and a thin cut set or a die set that you have that you like. I use the, the, the cutest cows this month because they're, uh, yes, I am a farm girl, but even if you're not a farm girl, guys, they're, it's like wickedly adorable. It's stinking adorable. So rather than a, a die cut to go with the stamp set, there's a punch with the stamp set. And I got to tell you, a person that doesn't really like to crank through a, an, emboss, a, an embossing machine or a die cutting machine, I gotta tell you, this was really quick and easy. I'm not hating it. Um, so I chose to use the cutest cows on mine. You guys do not have to get the cutest cows bundle in order to earn this kit. All you have to do is add $75 to your shopping cart, use the host code that um, I will also, pardon me, Another wood code. This is going to be the whole video is going to be yawning like this because I haven't been sleeping. Um, I will put the host code in the description of this video. If you're in, if you're on my uh, business page, up in the banner photo, there's always a host, a current host code up there. Anytime I change that host code, I'll change that banner. Okay. If you are inside my VIP customer group, um, the host code is on multiple posts for you guys as well. Okay. So I tried to make it easy for you to find it and see it and that kind of thing, but you're welcome to also message me if you have not located it and I'll be glad to give you the current host code, but you have to have your order tied to that host code to get the free kits. Okay. But you do not have to use the same stamp and punch that I used. You have a very usable artistic space here. So your kit, um, you're going to be able to, with all the things that I send you, you guys are going to be able to cut circles of your choice. So if you do not have the spotlight on nature circle dies, that are on the supply listing, then you can use another circle die set or you can have your Cricut cut one out for you or something like that. Um, on the cutting files, I have listed the exact sizes of the circles that I use. So all you guys have to do is have a circle that is similar in size. It doesn't have to be exact in order to create this kit. So you're really not going to need a lot of fancy schmancy stuff. Can you use a stamp and die that you already have in your home? Of course you can. You absolutely can. Um, so it is just going to be a really fun little um, card that has this very unique closure that I will show all of you guys how to create uh, when we do the online class, the live event. We um, we will have those every month, the following month. So um, this month during July, the online event for this class will be filmed and in, in, in showcased in August. Okay. Those of you guys who, one moment, those of you guys who shopped with me in June, that online class event is going to be in July. So it's going to be the following month. So even if you order the last day of the month, you will still be able to, to participate in the class. Okay. So this is just a fun little design. I did a little bit of fun stamping on the inside using some of that. Um, those smaller images from the cutest cow um set there. And like I said, guys, all of this, um, you're going to get all of the card stock that you see here. So the base, the base um, card bases that have the two folds in them, the liners, the pattern paper, um, you're going to have card stock to cut your circles, no matter how you cut them, you may not want to get the, um, you may not want to get the, the die set. That's okay. It's up to you. Um, but you're going to have on the, all of the paper and card stock that you need to create this. You are going to have um, the embellishments that they, these are the beautiful, beautiful iridescent gems. I love, they're one of my absolute favorites of all of Stampin' Up's embellishments. I love them, but you're going to get those in your kit as well. You're not going to get the ribbon in your kit. Okay. To stay under budget, I was not able to provide that for you. If you guys would like to get the ribbon, it comes in a gold and a silver together so for nine dollars you can get both of these okay and they are 30 feet per 
roll. So they give you a stinking ton of ribbon. And what I love about this is that these are always um, things I always think about for Christmas cards. The bright, shiny, beautiful, um, glittery um, type of ribbon. These are going to be really beautiful for your Christmas cards. So if you guys want to add ribbon like I did to your kit, uh, just like this, you can add these to your order and you will have plenty left over to use for your Christmas cards. When it comes time to doing Christmas cards, you guys, it's July calm down that's what i want to say to ever like hobby lobby calm down with your christmas stuff this is ridiculous i'm not even to my beach vacation yet right who else agrees <laughs> so anyway um use ribbon of your choice that you have at home or you can add that ribbon to your order that'll be on the supply list as well so um you guys are going to get the supplies to make six of these um it's going to come shipped in your cardboard envelope and as i said you have all the cardstock and papers that you guys are going to need to put those together you've got all of your envelopes um you have enough paper to do your stamping and your thin cutting and that kind of thing um now one of the things that i want you please listen closely okay this is a paper collection that um, is on clearance right now. There is, I am planning to do a scrapbooking workshop using it because again, like I said, I love the everyday pages that are not super duper themed. That is, those are my favorite pages to create. So this is a beautiful, beautiful paper collection and it's ginormous. It has like 48 sheets of 12 by 12. It's crazy big. Um, but what that meant is that I was able, I had enough patterns to do a version of this kit that featured blues, greens, purples. And then the other half of the paper pack used orange, yellow, purple. Okay. So you can see some of those sheets right here. <clears throat> Everything in the kit is the same with the exception of the patterned paper. So some of the kits have the blue, green, purple. Some of the kits have the orange, yellow, purple. Okay. Now during the, um, during the live event, I think I'm going to put together this version. So when we're all said and done, we see both versions. Okay. So I have pictures of both of them. So I think this is the one I'm probably going to put together um, at the live event. So um, that you guys will get to see both of them. But what I'm giving you the ability to do, if you're my customer and you have placed a $75 order and you've used the host code, which means you're going to earn one of these kits shipped to you, if you will message me or email me right after you've placed your order to let me know which version you want, then I have them sorted and I will pick the version that you want until I get rid of them, right? Like, so if everyone beats you to an order and all the blue, the blue version is all gone, then you're stuck with an orange and yellow version and vice versa. So it's just basically whoever orders and reaches out to me first, I will be glad to honor your choice. Um, if you do it while I still have a choice, right? So you guys can, the, the people that order earlier in the month um, will have a better a better ability to pick the, the kit that they want. So you guys have the choice. You just have to let me know, do you want the blue, green, purple version or the yellow, orange version? It's up to you. When it's all said and done, you'll see both of them put together uh, with the cows, okay? So this will come shipped right to your door as a thank you gift from me with a $75 order using the host codes that will be in the description of this video okay and you guys like they really pardon me they really turn out very cute but you've got a great usable stamping space here that you can um if you don't put the cow on there you can stamp really anything that you would like you can take these any direction that you want you can make them a birthday card you can put flowers on it you can put cows on it you can put robots on it i don't really care pick out whatever you have at home that you would like um to use if there's nothing um that you want to order from the catalog or something like that you remember all you have to do is get to the 75 dollars. it doesn't have to be specific specific merchandise okay so just grab whatever um, speaks to you and um, you can make your cards your own okay um, during the event we will have giveaways and things like that and so you'll stand a chance of winning some fun prizes and that kind of thing um, but again I feel like they turned out ridiculously cute I love the little cows they're very quick and easy to color they didn't take any time at all um but again they had some really fun if you guys pay attention to that stamp set they had some really fun sentiments in there that were just like there was they were Susan sentiments right like they were kind of fun and snarky and I just loved it so then 
your big workshop for the month of July. Now, I told you guys at the beginning of June, see, that's, the, that's what's really hard for us is that we're not getting a preview period for this stuff, right? Like in Close to My Heart World, we usually got at least a month preview period. Well, then by that time, I had a few weeks to get a workshop ready for you. <sighs> ready for you. <clears throat> Pardon me. And then by the time the product went live, I had your supply list ready to go and that kind of thing. Well, all of this went live the first part of June, right? And so I had a f the weeks in June to be working on it. Now that July 1st happens and I want to have a new workshop and an incentive for you guys. Um, the sad thing is that the scrapbooking workshop that was um, created with Low Lake Life, the actual kit, okay? I don't usually use the workshop kit. I usually just use the paper and the sticker sheet. I used, the, I used the scrapbooking workshop uh, this month because it had some really fun hexagons in there that I liked. Well, I used that. Well, that has sold out. But do not fear, okay? I got you. Um, the workshop kit added some additional cardstock sheets and it added um, some fun hexagon images in there that I really like. So what I have done... Those of you guys that maybe did not order last month when I, I told you that's I, it's one of those things I told you I told my customers last month. This is what I'm ordering to my cart. I have every intention of making a workshop with it. If it sells out, I will not do a workshop with it. But if you want to for, be for sure that you get it, you got to add it to your shopping cart. That's what I'm telling you again with the with the stuff that's going live tonight, too. If you cannot live without it. You got to add it now because I can't promise how long it will last. I have no idea. Well, the workshop did sell out. But what I have done is you guys are just going to need to supplement with a few sheets of cardstock. OK, you can still get the paper pack and the sticker sheet. You're, those are perfect. You'll you'll want those. You can throw in a couple extra sheets, a few extra sheets of cardstock. OK, there's a one set that we use for base pages, a couple sets we cut up. Anyway, it's on the cutting guide. But add some additional cardstock and pardon me and there are images inside Cricut that have those hexagon shapes that i created from scratch for you so if you're listening to this and you did not get the scrapbooking workshop inside the Cricut files those pieces um and the the um, additional like die cut pieces and stuff those main pieces that were instrumental to the actual pattern of the of the scrapbook layout I have created um, shapes of those inside a Cricut file for you guys. So you can just take some coordinating cardstock. Um, maybe you guys have like some wood grain cardstock in your stash or something like that that you want to use up. You have those um, already programmed into Cricut that you can go and cut yourself if you did not get the workshop. Now, in order, and also in a way to maybe combat um, not having some of those extra pieces, okay? If some of you guys are like, I don't really do Cricut, but I need a way to kind of take up some of that space of those die cuts that I didn't get. What I I have done is my my workshop uses three sheets of the print and cut images three sheets okay everyone that qualifies for the add-on kit which the add-on kit is you have to place an order of hundred and twenty five dollars using the host code Okay. Remember, when you do this, you're also going to get the bonus buy uh, coupons as well to use for next month. So you're just piggybacking all of those um, additional ways to save money or get a bigger value for your um, for for placing an order, right? So um, those of you guys who um, place a hundred and twenty five dollar order, you're not only going to get the um, the pre cut card kit, the cow kit, okay although you don't have to use cows, um, you, you're going to get that kit and you're going to get the add-on kit. And this month, the add-on kit are actually nine sheets of miscellaneous print and cut images. So you've got all the images that I used on my workshop, plus six more sheets of images that I sat and created, but did not end up putting on the pages. Instead of just um, deleting that file because it was didn't didn't wasn't needed for the workshop, um, I have left that additional file all together for you guys, where all the colors have been matched with the s with the um, hex codes and all of that. Um, I left that file in there. So if you guys purchase the Cricut file or you purchase the cutting guides through my blog um, or on my newsletter I mean get those through PayPal you'll also have access to the nine sheets print and cut file as well but if you are my customer and you place a hundred and twenty five dollar order you're actually gonna get all nine sheets 
cut for you just like this on this plate there are a ton of them you guys like i mean t i didn't count them there's a ton of them you've got these really fun um frames here um there are some that will fit a four by six photo and some that'll fit a three by four photo and i did use a couple of these in the workshop but i just cut you guys extras as well you've got these like super fun little um like little um, wooden signs. I absolutely loved these little circle things. Um, very, I just, I don't know. I just, ad I just adore them. They're fun little, um, little silhouettes on top of the, um, the like almost rainbow looking, um, colors there. It's just, I love them. I absolutely love them. So you've got some fun image, images on here, fun little mountains. These are all a bunch of waves. I love this saying, let's wander where the Wi-Fi is weak. I love that. So you've got multiples of these. You've got big ones, little ones. There's a little teeny tiny bitty one here. You got these fun canoes, um, lots of fishing sentiments. So fishing is my therapy. Um, <laughs> this one was cute. Uh, lake life cause beaches be salty which is my happy place by the way um just some really fun um i love you to the lake and back life is better at the lake you've got some fun wooden pieces here there's tons of these guys like i said nine whole sheets of the the, the custom created um i just take images that i find in cricut i slice them i dice them i put things together i take things off of there i change the colors it is a susan creation okay um so you're gonna want to you're gonna need if you're gonna cut this you're gonna need to have cricut access um, subscription because this is where all of these came from okay and then I did my handiwork to them but if you qualify for the add-on kit you're gonna get the whole plate um, full of them shipped right to your door and a, and a public shout out to my husband who helped me pack all of these so um, I have a limited number of these and once they sell out I will absolutely will not be restocking them um, this is a lot of printing and a lot of packing that's all I got to say okay so this is your add-on kit um, we will do a separate video throughout the month um, to show you the Lake Life uh, scrapbooking workshop, but we're going to thumb through it really quickly here. Um, I had a lot of fun with this workshop, you guys. I absolutely had a blast with it. And I, to, on this one, uh, the little tiny details were key for me. Um, some of these die cut pieces I cut apart um, so that I could use them in multiple places because it came all stuck together. And I like to spread my embellishments out. <laughs> so um, you've got beautiful little, um, we're gonna kind of go pretty quickly, um, little, little fun little elements here and there. Um, the blog post will feature all the up close photos so you guys can get a really good look at those i am loving the twine you guys one of my favorite things and i was not bashful about this is stamp it up has tons of ribbon and twines tons of them so they're all different colors and currently my favorite thing right now is this little these baker twine um little collections there's some neutrals there's some fun colors um and i have just like got into the habits of kind of knotting it up behind things <coughs> pardon me I'm just going to give you a little peeky peek of a class I'm teaching inside the membership. But I just like take it and um, do a little bit of nodding up and putting it behind like a fun focal image. And I am just having the best time with that. So a lot of these big focal images on this workshop have a little bit of this messy looking twine on it. And I love it. I just love it. Um, you can see here like... Like, look right here. It just adds a little bit of texture there. It's so fun, you guys. It's so fun. So this, when I told you that th this this little overlay here, this green overlay here, um, was the reason why I got the workshop kit instead of just the paper pack, because I love these hexagons, and I wanted to be able to create with that. Well, sadly it sold out, right? But I want you guys to know, this is something that I created for you in Cricut. So you have this overlay piece that you can have your Cricut spit out for you that has the hexagon frames cut out of it. So you can like maybe cut this out of green cardstock or something like that. And you can get something that's very, very close. I did my absolute best to give you as many options as possible um, once I saw that the workshop was gone. But I think this is definitely one of my favorite pages. You can see it's got all those really fun custom design circles on there um, that are just absolutely beautiful. Well, I felt like the Lake Life was a little bit drab in the way that it was all 
the, the like the seabrook and the pine and it it was just was kind of sad to me it had like the tan color and i thought it needs it needs espresso and it needs some color to it and so that is where i brought in um the the um paprika and you've got some nectarine you've got some of the um i think that was honey butter that i used instead of sundance but i just felt like it really needed some color and that really popped it up i think it really took the the greens the muted greens with a punch of blue and really kind of popped them up i loved it look at this one here with that twine you guys isn't that so fun? Look at how it just took um, a few little tiny stickers. This is a little piece of patterned paper. These are a couple tiny stickers. You've got your little knot of twine. These are some of those. I told you they're my favorite. The um, textured adhesive back dots. I, I always say they're a boy embellishment. There's nothing girly about them because they're, they're like um, a beautiful matte kind of like it almost looks like a brass type of like a nail or something. I love it. Absolutely love it. But they just like had the best little pop there. Um, I did use a set of the sequins as well that had a lot of those browns and the gold on there. Again, another fun little knot. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love the twine and stuff. It's so fun. Wander where the Wi-Fi is a week. I love it. Um, this one is super cute. Life's um, better at the lake. Here is one of those fun frames that I told you about. And again, you've got your little fishy here with a little bit of that twine knotted underneath him. It just adds so much to it, guys. It just kind of softens that and adds a fun little bit of texture um, behind those focal elements. I just, I love it. This is one of the um, exclusive sheets that comes in the workshop kit. And so again, if you did not get the workshop kit, you'll just need to replace this with a base page sheet of your own okay fun fact is you guys can get the bulk uh lake life pattern paper so that gives you additional um some more um uh, two-sided pattern papers if you don't want to buy another paper pack um, or you can just use regular cardstock it's up to you but really this one is I wouldn't be telling you that it's really doable to sub if it wasn't but I have really I've tried to make it pretty easy for you guys with that Cricut file um, to be able to recreate it as close to the original workshop as possible okay so you've got more of the frames and the fun little twine there um, and as I said guys you're getting six extra sheets of the die cuts so you will not lack in elements and focal images for your pages okay you'll have tons left over life is better at the lake i just love it this is one of the exclusive sheets that come in the workshop kit it is very lightweight light colored it, it looks like a white with a seabrook fishnet on it and so like this would not be difficult at all to do, like grab something from your stash not at all in fact if i was going to pick i would want something that was a little bit bolder than this it ties in pretty closely with the base page so if it was me i would for sure not have any problem to sub that out at all You've got a fun little, I love the little canoe there. One moment. Sorry guys, had to grab another drink of tea. I know if I if I let myself go long, I'll start coughing and then you have to hear that the rest of the video. But um, super cute. This is how I'm using those little waves, guys. I just tuck them up underneath the element and it just, it kind of gives the illusion that it is on the water. So I thought that turned out really cute. There's a little sticky note. Um, here is a, one of those elements um, there. Like I said, if you guys looked, if you paid attention to that workshop, there wasn't a lot of the die cut pieces that were exclusive to that workshop. There were a few, though. And like I said, if they were a fundamental part of the layout, I made a shape that was about the same size. So you have a little shape that's about this size in that Cricut file if you want to cut it out. OK. And again, it's optional. You could put a photo up there if you wanted to um, or or one of the other uh, print and cut pieces. Again, you have six extra sheets, right? Which is why I did that. So um, more of that fun canoe up there. I just I love it. The pages, you guys know my work. It's very simplistic, but that really gives you the freedom to allow the photos to be the star of the show, which is kind of the purpose of scrapbooking anyway, right? Sun rays, boat waves, a lake days. I love it. That's just a sticker from the sticker sheet. So you're not missing anything there um, with the <sighs> workshop being sold out but it's just some fun little elements there and a beautiful color scheme if you ask me 
the best days are spent at the lake. Jump on in. Love it. I just like to take elements and kind of overlap them and piggyback them on top of each other. Give you some fun little clusters. Um, just kind of how my creative brain likes to see that happen. So um, anyway, that is, um, you guys can get the cutting guide with any $25 order placed on my website, or you can get it through the PayPal link in my newsletter, or the post will be up on my blog, hopefully tomorrow. Um, and if the blog posts aren't up by the time you want the file and you're not on my newsletter list, you can send me a message and I'll send you a link back. Um, but you can get these with the 25, the cutting guide with the $25 order on my website through PayPal, or you can earn, um, you can, um, also get the add on kit, which is all of the Cricut pieces, right? Um, with, uh, included with your $125 order plus the other kit. So you got, you got two kits for $125. Now this is a repeat. Okay. You get a third kit this month just because I have some extras left over from last month. And, um, I would rather give them away with an order as opposed to selling them. So I showed you guys this cute little mini album last month. Um, I created it um, for my customers and for my team. It's gonna hold, I want to say 27 photos, but I haven't counted them since last month and I might be quoting you wrong, but it is gonna come with everything that you see in this album with the exception of the journaling pin and uh, the photos, okay? So everything is included for you, but it's just this fun little celebratory album, okay? Um, you have all of the pages, the dots are gonna come included, the stickers are gonna come included, all the Cricut pieces, all the pages, and as I said, pardon me, everything that you see except your, your journaling pen and your photos are what you need, okay? So, it's gonna hold a good number of pages. There is also a custom stencil that I created for you guys that's gonna give you the ability to draw the fun little doodling on the inside of the shape. So you can see the fun little doodles on the inside of like the star there. Um, you can see like the inside of the arrow here the inside of the rectangle. You've got the little fun labeled like tab up there. Um, so there is a stencil in there. You can do um, inside the little uh, banners there. That just was a fun way to add a little bit of, a little bit of whimsicalness to it to make it a little more. I feel like it always, it definitely looks a little homemade when you do that, which I love. I love for my artwork to look homemade, um, but it was just kind of fun to add some noodles that way. And there's a stencil in there that will allow you to do that. So um, this is going to come to anyone that places a $200 order on my website and uses the host code that will be in the description of the video. So $200 order gets you all all three kits, not just the one, it gets you all three. It gets you the birthday album and it will come with the files as well. So this is an album that is made 100% with Cricut. So um, it's very quick and easy to reproduce. Um, and it is very easy to create in a different themed way. So if you don't want to make it a birthday album, you can make it an album that that will work for anything. It just has really generic shapes, really generic pages. Um, the only thing that makes it themed is the sticker sheet that will be included with the kit, okay? That is what makes it birthday theme. But if you wanted to make it a Christmas album, you would add elements that go along with Christmas. So add Christmas stickers or add Christmas stamping and you immediately turn it into Christmas, okay? Make it Easter or Valentine or whatever occasion you're making an album for, um, you just have to change the elements. But all of the fundamental parts of the kit will stay the same. So if you want to be able to cut a bunch more of these, you're gonna get the files as well. So you'll be able to do that, okay? So in your kits, um, those of customers, of my customers that are gonna qualify for these, you're gonna get the sticker sheet. So this is gonna ship in a box this month, so I'm gonna pay a lot of money in shipping, okay? Um, you're gonna get the box um, full of the sticker sheet, all of the base pages, the Cricut cuts, all the pieces. There is in your yellow section, I'm just gonna mention this because it's right here on top anyway, there is a little guide in here. And so this is if you wanna add additional photos or additional pages, additional memorabilia, this is spaced the same space as all of your pages. So if you laid this on top of, for instance, an additional photo, 
and you traced your holes out, you would know where to punch your holes so they would line up with the rest of the album pages. So this is just in here as an extra for you so that if you wanted to add additional uh, pages and elements, you can. Um, I used to do this with birthday cards. I got to where I was saving all the birthday cards my loved ones would, would give me, but like, what do you do with them, right? I mean, you put them in a drawer, then they get lost, mixed up, all of that. So what I was doing was I was kind of taking this concept and I was punching holes in all my birthday cards for the year. So at the end of the year, I would have a binder, essentially, uh, with all my birthday cards throughout the year. Um, so that's kind of fun, right? Then you've got your stencil in here. So these are made out of the Close to My Heart Acetate. Um, so you, when you get this, you're just going to kind of pop these pieces out, okay? They're just, they're very easily going to pop right out of there. Um, full disclaimer, I packed, um, I packed a bunch of these and I did not take the time to take them all out. So um, you'll just want to pull them right out of there. And then you've got your stencil that will line up with all of your shapes in the album. So if you guys want to add the fun doodles, you have the ability to do that. So anyway, um, and again, you're going to get your dots and you're going to get your binder rings as well. So like I said, everything that you see um, is coming in your kit. You just need your doodling pen and you need your photos and you're ready to go. Okay. So all of this will come shipped free to your door. With a $200 order using the host code, you're going to get the mini album kit. You're going to, pardon me, you're going to get the add-on kit that has all the nine sheets of the cardstock or the print and cut. And then you're going to get the six card kit and the online class that will have all your supplies except the ribbon to create these six cards. Um, but you don't have to use cows. You can use the other stamp of your choice. Okay. So um, anyway, this is um, pretty much like it took me 55 minutes to say it, uh, but this is what you guys can expect during the month of July. It's going to be wild, absolutely wild. Um, specials galore, right? And who knows? They might throw other things with us. I'm not really sure. Might throw other things at us. Um, who knows? But um, there will be um, there will be two additional kits that will hit as well. Um, as you know, like. Stampin' Up, I told you guys, new product all the time. So you get, there's two new kits they release every single month too. So not only if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you'll get a new kit, um, but there will be two new kits that will hit um, tonight as well. So um, lots of new to choose from. If you guys don't see something you like, hold tight because there'll be something coming, I'm sure. Um, if you have questions, uh, I'm sure there's been comments um, on the video. And like I said, Facebook does not like to show them to me while I'm live, but I'll go back and address those afterward. But if you guys have questions, feel welcome to put them below um, or private message me. It's up to you. I'm, I'm happy to go and assist in whatever way that I can. Um, but I thank you so much for um, watching and, um, and for following my business. And for those of you that support my business, I am just forever grateful. Um, I really am truly so grateful for it. Um, but if you guys, um, if you would like to make a purchase, during the month of July. I would absolutely be so grateful if you decided to do that on my shopping website and I'll put all that information in the description above. So happy 2nd of July, my friends. I hope your month is wonderful. And um, if I can serve in any way, please reach out and I will be so happy to do so.